September 11th, and Vermont played a large role in assisting with the tragic attack on our country. Local 44's Courtney Adelman spoke with members of the Vermont National Guard and the Vermont Air National Guard to see what they had to say about this day of remembrance. Courtney? Well, good morning, Abby. Yes, that's correct. I spoke with the Vermont National Guard and the Vermont Air National Guard, who says that the F-16 planes were actually airborne at the time of the attack, flying, doing training, and they quickly had to figure out a way to get those F-16 planes over to New York City. And the officers I spoke with say that it was a very confusing day, but they are proud to be a part of the Green Mountain Boys. Uh, as a military member, you're ready to do your job. The nation's been attacked. 19 years ago, Vermont F-16 fighter jets began patrolling the skies of New York City within hours of the 9-11 attack. Brigadier General Hank Harder and Chief Ken Gregg recall the day they say was filled with mixed emotions. It was just an odd feeling, it was like this kind of sinking feeling on the inside, kind of wondering what was next. So many people lost, but then uh, you're proud that you were able to jump into the fight. Brigadier General Hank Carter was in Nevada for a conference at the time of the attack. He knew he needed to get back to Vermont as soon as possible. After driving for hours and eventually getting on a commuter flight, he landed in Burlington a few days later. Yeah, and I flew my first uh, flight uh, combat air patrol, we call it, on the Sunday after 9-11. After As a unit, the Vermont Air National Guard flew over New York City for 122 consecutive days after the attack. You don't expect to fly over where the World Trade Center, uh, both of those beautiful towers once stood, to look at a huge smoking hole. Ken Gregg was the chief of security forces at the time. As the morning unfolded, I came to the base and w part of the recall process as the wing was arming up the aircraft, the uh, security forces folks had the job of uh, securing the entire airport perimeter. Greg spent the weeks following making sure the airport and the base were secured and safe. And like many people, both officers say it's a time they will never forget. And during that time, more than 500 airmen worked at the base ready to deploy, and the base actually earned an award for their support with the 9-11 attack. But for now, live in Williston, Courtney Adelman, Local 44 News.